how to add dropshipping products to the Facebook marketplace while also adding in semi-automation settings like importing products from any one of our supported suppliers to the Facebook marketplace, monitoring the stock, monitoring the prices, all of that on the world's biggest social media platform and the biggest untapped market that we have right now for dropshipping. All of that and more in this video, so watch this quick intro and let's begin. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add products from any one of the suppliers that you would like to work with to the Facebook marketplace. Start dropshipping on the world's biggest social media platform, which is completely untapped at this point. Dropshippers are only starting to get into it right now, so you can be way ahead of your competition by watching this video and implementing the value that we're passing on to you. So without further ado, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay up to date on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world. And having said that, let's go ahead and get started. How do we add products to the Facebook marketplace? How do we monitor the stock? How do we monitor the prices? How can we start dropshipping on this huge marketplace, stay ahead of our competitors and stay in control of everything that's going on? So as you know, you can work with any one of the 25 plus supported suppliers that we work with in AutoDS. And in this example, I'm going to show you one of my personal favorites, which is Amazon. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's head over to Amazon.com and we'll search for a product to add to our Facebook store. So let's head to the best sellers where we can always find some great hidden gems over here. And we'll click on movers and shakers that will show us the most trending products from the last 24 hours. Now we'll head into some categories that are fit for dropshipping. For example, let's go into the home and kitchen and let's scroll a little bit and let's get these travel mugs that we're seeing over here. Okay, so let's say that this is the product that I want to add to my Facebook store. So the first thing that I want to do is grab the product's URL or the product ID. So I can either grab the whole URL or just the product ID, the ASIN, which is right over here. I can also use the import to AutoDS button, which is available through the extension that we installed. And it'll just import to our store in just the click of a button. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it using the AutoDS platform. So we're going to head back to the platform. And on the left side, we'll click on add products. And in the publish tool, we're going to select our Facebook store. So here it is right here, my Facebook store. I'm going to highlight it and click on next. Okay, so we're publishing the product to my Facebook store. Here we can enter the product URL or ID. We can also upload a CSV file if we want to add multiple products to our store or use the AutoDS Finder if you don't have time for product research and you want AutoDS to find and add those bestsellers for you. So again, for this example, I'm going to add the product's ID over here. Make sure that all of the information down here is correct. The supplier is Amazon, region United States. And in advanced options, we do not want to upload variations on Facebook because Facebook does not support variations, but I will keep it on. So just in case if you keep it on, you'll see soon how you can add only a single product out of all of the variants to the Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to keep this on for now, but remember that Facebook marketplace does not support variations and we're not going to allow out of stock variations. So go over the correct settings that you want for your store. Click on next. Here we won't really be using a product template because Facebook's marketplace has its own template. We can tag the product and name it Facebook products. So in a month or two, when I want to analyze how the Facebook products went, I'm just going to open up the tags, all of the products that have this tag, and I'll see the list of those products. It'll be much easier to analyze and optimize it in the future. Now, regarding automation, it's not relevant for the Facebook marketplace, so you can leave it on or off. It doesn't matter. Then we're going to click on next. Enter your pricing settings, your total fees. So we know that Facebook is charging us a 5% fee and set exactly how much you want to profit on top of the fees that you're paying on top of your break even. You can also add dynamic profiting. Now I want to remind you that the price and stock monitoring is semi-automated. We're going to get to that in a minute. So once we're done with that, we're going to click on next. The shipping and policies is not relevant. It's only if you're drop shipping on eBay or Shopify. So we're going to click on next. And here you can choose if you want to add the product as a draft, publish it to your Facebook store, which will only publish right now to AutoDS. We're going to get to that soon or schedule to publish it at a later time and date, which isn't really relevant right now for the Facebook marketplace. So we're just going to add it as a draft and we're going to click on next. Now the item is being added to the draft section of our store. 
So on the left side, let's click on drafts. Okay, and here we go. We have the product on our drafts page. So let's take a look. The destination of this product is my Facebook store. So we know that it's connected to our Facebook store. Now we want to add an internal product note. And the reason that we want to add internal product notes is because of the semi automation settings that we have on the Facebook marketplace. So what we want to do there is add the source URL or the supplier's product URL for the product that we are adding right now. And this is why we want to do that. If you go to the settings page on AutoDS and click on the notifications tab, you will notice down in the monitoring notifications, stock monitoring updates and price monitoring updates. This is effective, especially for the Facebook marketplace. What we want to do is enable stock and price monitoring updates and make sure that our notify to email, that our email addresses are written correctly in that text box. This is the email where we will be receiving email notifications by AutoDS whenever there is a stock change or whenever there is a price change on the products on our stores. So as soon as I've enabled them, I'm going to click on save. Again, make sure that the email address down here is correct. Now what will happen is every time there's a stock change or a price change on the products on my store, AutoDS will send me an email for that specific product. And in that email, AutoDS will tell me about the stock or the price change. And it will also add the internal product note that we have on that product. So what we want to do is add the source URL inside the internal product note. And then we will see it in the email that we're getting from AutoDS. So we'll be able to click on it and then be directed directly to the product that AutoDS is referring to. So once again, it's here to make our lives easier, more automated. So make sure that in the settings notifications, you have the stock and price enabled make sure that the email address is correct and go back to that internal product note where we will continue from there. So if you don't have the source site open, just click on view source product and it'll take you again to the source site where you have that product. We're going to copy the URL and in the product note, we're going to paste that URL and keep it over here. Okay. And that's done. Now we know that the supplier is Amazon us, but we have 41 variants, even though we know that Facebook does not support variants at this time. So what are we going to do about that? First, we're going to open up the item editor by clicking on the arrow over here. Then we're going to click on variants. And here we're going to choose the variant that we want to add to our Facebook store. So let's say we want to keep the first one up here. So we're simply going to select all of the variants, deselect the one that we want, and then we're going to delete them. Now we're deleting 40 out of the 41 variations. And the reason that we're deleting them is because we don't want them to take up space on our AutoDS subscription plan. So yes, I'm sure now all of the variants have been removed and we are left with that one variant that we want to add to our Facebook store. Now, the next step is to head over to your Facebook account, head over to the marketplace. Now on the left side, we're going to click on create new listing, choose listing type. We're going to choose item for sale. And as you can see over here, we have a paste from AutoDS button that was integrated into our Facebook marketplace when we are creating a new listing. Now, in order to paste, we need something to copy. So head back to the AutoDS platform. Now, I want to remind you guys that we're in the draft page. We opened up the item editor and we clicked on variants. If you look over here on the right side, there is a copy icon. I'm going to click on that copy to clipboard. Now we'll head back to Facebook and we'll click on paste from AutoDS. What's happening here, as we can see right in front of me in live, is that all of the product's information is being copied from AutoDS to the Facebook marketplace, create a listing. So as we can see, we already have the product title. We have the product price, which is $22. The source price is 18.6. So I didn't really add any extra profit, but this is just an example. But remember that when we were adding a product on AutoDS, we got the break even settings, so you got the 5% fee. And on top of that, go ahead and add another 20, 30, 50% or however much you want to profit. The Facebook marketplace is new and there's a lot of profit that we can make over there. So let's continue. We got the title, we got the price, you got the item details. Now, Facebook's text fields are not that user friendly. So you do have to go inside the description here on the left side and make the line breaks where we need to have them and so forth. So you do need to go over the product description and fix it up a little bit as you see here on the right side. 
So we're going to make some line breaks and we're going to make all of the text make sense. Of course, we're going to read everything and proofread it and go over everything and optimize it. But we're saving a lot of time with the whole copy and paste situation that we see that's going on over here. So as you can see, we're going to click left and right. All of the product images have been added. Now, since we're only using a certain variation, which is this one over here, we can go ahead and delete the rest of the product images that are not relevant for what we need. So if we just go up here, we can delete the pink one, the green one, and so forth. So make sure that the image is showing exactly what you are selling. First, we have the pictures, then we have the title, then we have the price, then the category that it belongs to. So we need to choose a category. In this case, let's just go with appliances. The condition is new. The brand, you can talk about the brand. You cannot talk about the brand. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to write branded. Again, we're going to optimize the product description. You can add a product tag if you want, but we already have that on AutoDS and it's much better organized over there. Then you got the product location. So since we chose an item that's Amazon Prime and Amazon Prime ships from the US, we can just choose any location from the United States. So I'm going to keep it on San Jose, California. That's fine with me. And in the availability, you can either list it as a single item or list as in stock. Since we are drop shipping and we know that our suppliers have more in stock, we're going to choose list as in stock so that once the product sells, it won't go out of stock. It'll stay on our Facebook marketplace and we can continue selling it. So list as in stock. And that is all when it comes to adding products to Facebook Marketplace from AutoDS. So you may have noticed that it's not fully automated. We do have to copy the variant by clicking on copy inside the product's variant. And we have to paste it using the paste from AutoDS and then start optimizing the title a little bit, the product's category, the condition. And we're going to add the line breaks and add bullet points and everything else in the product description to make sure it looks really nice. The product location list as in stock and then click on next now you can choose if you want to add this listing to other groups on facebook which are mostly buy and sell groups that you have joined in the past and once you are done you're going to click on publish once you publish your product you'll be able to see it on the facebook marketplace you can also see what your competitors are doing even though it won't matter much because they're mostly selling secondhand products the images don't look as good and all in all people would much rather buy new products when compared to secondhand products, this is the biggest competitive edge that we can get while dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace because it's still brand new. We do not have a lot of dropshippers here yet. And now is the best time to enjoy those early bird sales and profit. So start now and you will not regret it later. Good luck with your Facebook marketplace dropshipping journey and let us know if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to help.